Hi, my name is Faith, and I'm going to be doing my project over the theory of emotional intelligence, and I'm going to match up with the movie of The Notebook. So first, we can kind of just go over what emotional intelligence is, just so you can understand. Being able to understand your emotions um, and being able to understand the emotions around you, like with the emotions of other people, and just understanding how you can influence and help other people um, work with, through their own emotions. So um, the article that I read is basically three kind of concepts that you need to understand in emotional intelligence. So you need to be emotionally aware, which means just like knowing what your emotions are and being able to tell what others' emotions are, like how they're feeling. You need to be able to harness your emotions, which means just way to express your emotions and maybe even helping other people learn how to express theirs and then influencing others emotions which means um maybe you would need to help someone calm down if they're feeling upset or if you want to get somebody excited you know help them felt feel a little bit more spirited you can influence others emotions in that way too so it's just learning how to recognize your emotions and others and knowing what to do in situations like that so now I want to kind of explain the plot of the notebook just so we can get into how the theory ties in with the movie. Okay, so the plot of the notebook actually goes like this. There's a two uh, people. Um, there's a man and a woman, and they fall in love in high school. The man is actually kind of poor. He doesn't have a good job, and um, he doesn't make very much money. And he falls in love with a woman who um, is very rich. Her parents have a lot of money, and so she's very taken care of. And so the parents together because um, he doesn't think that the man can take care of the real just because he doesn't have very much money and so they start hanging out a lot more and spending more time together even though their parents don't want them to and then they um fall in love but they realize that they can't really be together because the daughter is not going to be very taken care of and so the man wants to break up with her because he realizes i'm not going to be able to take care of you so you need to just move on with your life and so that's exactly what the woman does. She um, starts working and she goes to college and she falls in love with another man. And so they um, are about to get married, but she, um, this is a couple of years later when they're going to get married, but she sees that her high school sweetheart in the newspaper and realizes that she wants to go and, you know, talk to him, make sure that he's okay. But then they end up having an affair because she realizes that she still loves him. And so they get back together. And um, they actually kind of live happily ever after. But the movie doesn't have a whole lot of emotional intelligence in it because the two people don't aren't really able to control their emotions when they're together because they end up having an affair even though they um, know that the woman is about to get married. And so she starts, you know, just being with him and falling in love with him again. And so that reason is because, like, she went to go visit him just to make sure that everything was okay even though she knew she would probably fall in love with this man again. So she wasn't really aware of her own emotions because she wasn't controlling them very well. She should have been careful to just, like, check on him but not fall in love with the man again by, like, keeping her boundaries safe and just, like, not always spending much time with him or fantasizing over him. Um, he wasn't being very emotionally aware because he should have known that, um, because he knew that they were, that she was going to get married, but um, he wasn't really careful about, like, guarding his own heart or, like, protecting her emotions or anything like that, and so they both just kind of, like, lost each other in their love and didn't do a very good job of ex um, controlling their own emotions, so yeah.